All right, so this is a video on how I am cleaning this raccoon. It's not a how-to from an expert because this is actually the first raccoon I've ever cleaned, but I'm gonna clean it pretty much like a deer. I'm also gonna show you how to take the glands out. I'm not cleaning this for the fur. I'm cleaning this for the meat, so I'm just gonna clean it like a deer. First thing I'm gonna do is just cut around the haunches. Now, you can't hang these by their tendon like you do a deer with a gimbal. Um, so I've just got cables around each ankle. And then I'm gonna come around this way. So just make a cut. Down like that. Down towards the center. Down on both sides. So uh, the one thing with raccoons is um, you do want to make sure to get the glands out. And there's there's several glands uh, in these raccoons, and I'll show you where they're at. All right, so peel that down like that. Grab this side here. Let me set my knife down so I don't stab me or those I love. <laughs> peel that side down there. And one of these glands actually just popped out, so this is where I was going to show you. So there's the gland came from the back of the ham here. There's another one right in here. And uh, basically just pull that gland out. That's right there inside. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. Uh, another big reason for the uptick in the coon population is um, fur prices have just plummeted. So people aren't catching and trapping raccoons like they used to when fur prices were good. All right, so on this end, um, I'm just basically cutting his front feet off. And that'll allow me when I skin him, that skin will just pop right off there. Just find the joint, basically where the wrist is, cut it right off. All right, now we should be able to just continue to kind of pull down and cut, pull and cut. that spot right there and just pull it right off the wrist, one leg. I'll tell you, you know, I've been all over the world. There's no place I'd rather be. <laughs> you know, I've, I've hunted red stag in New Zealand, I've hunted caribou in Alaska, and I've hunted coon in Jennings. <laughs> that. Now, see there's another one of those glands both sides right there in his neck. Um, since we're not cooking the, the neck or the head, some people cook that. I mean there is meat on it. Um, I'm not worried about being too wasteful with this here coon because we don't have a bunch of people to feed. This is just, this is just for us to taste test. And hey, if it's good, you know where to get more. Yeah, we got plenty of them. Okay, there we go. There's also glands in the armpit. You can see that one right there. Big old gland. <clears throat> Just kind of grab hold of it. Cut everything around it out. You don't want any part of that in the meat. Throw it far, far away. This one looks like we've oh, here it is. I felt it. This one's smaller, but it's right in there. And sit right there. I got that out of the way. So I'm using the method where I don't have to gut the gut the animal. Basically, I've already loosened around that whole anus area. So that whole thing pulls out. You just keep pulling down and cut. Keep pulling down and cut. And when I get to the, basically below his little tenderloins there, try to be very careful not to. 
bust anything. But you can kind of cut through the ribs here with a decent knife. This is just a, this is a little Havilon razor knife. But grab my other knife here. And uh, see what I did there? Making a mess. Okay. So basically, you got the whole entire insides and the ribs and everything out of the way. Um, you can do it just like you do it here, where you open it, pull everything out. But I'm not interested in the ribs. I'm not interested in anything involved. So that just kind of gets that out of the way. Shows the tenor one, shows the back straps. And this is all edible meat here left. All right, so now I'm just cutting the meat around right above the feet there on both sides. Okay. And then you can grab a lopper, scissors, whatever. And you can just cut right through that. Get a meat left right there. And there's our coon. So now we'll go ahead and uh, cut this guy up. Cut the front shoulders off. Separate that front shoulder off there like that. Same with the back legs. Find that little hip hip bone there, that little hip socket, cut right around that. These are a little bit different. Okay, the back leg. It's like chicken. Kinda does, doesn't like it? Dark meat chicken. And then again, find that little hip bone, that little pivot bone there. Cut right around it. Flip it around. There you go. And then you got basically that back strap that goes all the way down. So what I might do is just cut this tenderloins, back straps. I might just cut this in half like that. There's your tenderloins, there's your back straps, back straps along here, neck meat. Pull that extra little bit of fat off because sometimes there'll be glands underneath the fat. You just want to make sure there's no glands, but you'll you'll be able to see them through there. Yeah, we'll wash this up, get it ready for the grill. <laughs>